Hello everybody, this is episode 97, day 107 of our Grand Island Adventure. Ewan had a few jobs to do today, one being more work on the trailer, which I was able to help him with in a small way, and the other being preparing his car for its um, overdue MOT. Okay everyone, this is week 16, day 3 Wednesday. Uh, there's not a lot to show for today. This morning I went to the tip with some rubbish and I took several alloy wheels out of the garage to the scrapyard and got some money for them so that's nice i've been looking on ebay and my uh, bikes and parts are creeping up in price so that's also good um my brother was supposed to come earlier but he hasn't done so i've had to struggle on on my own i've only got a little bit done today but what bit i have got done it's made a big difference to the trailer it's a lot sturdier now um, I had to interrupt Phoebe from working earlier so that she could help me screw some of the panels in because I couldn't reach both sides of the bolt. Uh, it was either um, spanner in the nut or the bolt, I couldn't do both, so she helped. And uh, I managed to get two top pieces on there. I've got to put, if I'm looking here, I have to put the piece of this but wider over that split there and bolt that in on both sides but like butted up to there and then I'll do the same underneath as well that'll be tomorrow I've got another piece of angle 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 not angle uh, to bolt onto here uh, so that when I put my next piece up I can bolt it to that and then bolt it to the top of the angle there. Uh, that will be 48-ish. And then another 48-ish here. And then I've got a, a narrow piece. That narrow piece there is going to go all the way along here. So that's to do. But it shouldn't take us long tomorrow to do that. This is wider than the piece I need it's kind of it's got to go under there like that but I'm not putting this piece on now because uh, I need to get the uh, other two pieces on first that'll tell me where that piece needs to be and how wide it needs to be I'll take this off for now and then this piece here it's only bolted at the bottom there and the bottom in the corner I have to put a fair few bolts into all the, all the way along. I've just been to the hardware shop to get some more nuts and bolts. The same here. This has got to be done all the way along underneath the rubber. Uh, the rubber I obtained from uh, around the door sills on uh, one of the rovers that I scrapped. So that's coming really useful. Notice I've got the rubbers around the wheel latch as well and around there and I also have to put a plate of aluminium across there bolt that in place and then bolt it on there and silicone it together I also have some of these to put there again you know make so that I can bolt them both back together both together and if I put some no more nails across there it'll help bond it in place same for the outside, it will have a piece like so, bonded and nuts and bolts in place. So that's tomorrow. I'm going to be cracking on with this really early in the morning so I can get it done because we have to fill this trailer tomorrow evening with Rachel's stuff ready to take down to Wales. And what I'm going to do with the back is if I put a, a piece of metal up here and a piece of metal up here and I board that out and then all I need to do is get some um, self tappers and then screw the middle board in place so that when we get down to Wales we can unscrew it and then get all the stuff out I haven't got time to mess about trying to fashion a door with it so it's just going to have a panel that I can just self tap into position and then it's a case of uh, bolting or screwing my um, 
my light board across there and running it under the caravan and, and um, fastening it into position with cable ties. And then that should be it. It should be ready to go tomorrow. Sorry, it should be ready to go Friday. Um, the, the top boards are giving it a bit more structure and a bit more rigidity. So once I've got the last three boards in, that should be a straight line. So I'm well pleased with that. I've got quite a bit done today, despite only starting it at like half past two. So uh, I'll crack on late again tomorrow and it should be done tomorrow. Hey everyone, so I have to uh, replace this bulb and the one at the other side today because uh, they don't work. Uh, these are your main headlights and these are your side lights, the indicators are down here. And uh, in order to get to that bulb, you have to, this is where the front bumper is, you have to pull the bumper apart and then peel back this splash panel and then get your hand right in there and twist anti-clockwise and then pull it out this far this is as far as it goes but it's far enough to uh, to replace the bulb just that just pulls out and then the new bulb pushes back in and then with the new this is the new bulb by the way because it's clear the old bulb seemed to go silver so in order to get it back in you have to just struggle to push that over there and then in here, you see that there, that's my, that's my finger. And then I have to try to get my hand out of the way without, without losing where the bulb and bulb holder is. So, wow, that's tight. So there's, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that wiggling about? There it is, look, wiggling about there. So all I have to do now is turn it clockwise, like so, until it clicks, and then pull my arm back out of there and fold that back in and that's done. And then the number plate light which I changed, this one, it's got two, you got one there, one there, and it's just simply undo these two screws, pull the whole system out, take the glass off, actually not in, you take the system out, and then at the back, uh, you just again do a, uh, an eighth of a twist and then pull the thing, and it's exactly the same bulb type, you just pull it out and push the new bulb in, it's a bayonet fit, and then offer it up and then an eighth of a turn clockwise and then screw it back up and then that's the job done. So that's all my uh, bulbs done today. MOT next Wednesday so with a bit of luck it'll pass and uh, I'll be happy knowing that my car's good again for another year. So there's my lovely Accord Aero Deck and there's Phoebe's Aero Deck and uh, we're so lucky to have two identical cars again because they're uh, hard to get hold of anyway that's enough for today so uh, i'll do another video tomorrow catch you later thank you for coming along with us that's ewan and phoebe Wilby on our island renovation journey if you want to be notified of updates and new videos as they are uploaded please remember to click the subscribe button below and then hit the bell also we love company so feel free to share our youtube channel with your friends the more the merrier and please leave us a comment if you wish we'd love to hear from you see you next time our love to you all